Hello and welcome to what are you saying? Hashtag Weeds, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osaiwa Sally, and today we have a full house. Hello, hello. <laughs> I love uh, the Jennifer's the color, the color hair. Theme. No, color theme first before the Jennifer's hair. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, is this auburn? It's really nice. Burgundy. I think it's burgundy, burgundy, burgundy. yes. Yeah, it's one it of my looks, favorite colors. Um, it looks like this girl in X Men. Sophia, oh, that, that character. Guy. The fire girl? Yeah. Oh, woo. yeah. Okay. The, you know the new girl, the one that did uh, Game think, of Thrones? I think hers is Ginger. No, Game of Thrones, the, you know she... she Sa Sansa. Yeah, Sansa, you know she came... I think her hair is Ginger. Yeah. Ginger. Yeah. Really? Ginger. It's, it's not this color. No, no, no. No. Yeah. It's, Sorry. it's like more orangey. Orange. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm color blind. <laughs> but Jennifer, girl, I'm gonna hail you today. Where are you off to? <laughs> thank you, thank you. You look amazing. <laughs> Just imagine what goes on behind the scenes before we go live. It is well. <laughs> We're not talking too many long banters today because we lost a lot of time. So here's what we found as today's quote. Today is not really supposed to be a smiley day. Uh, rape is the only crime in which the victim becomes the accused. That's the quote for today. And um, it's so apt. Frida um, Alder said this quote is so apt because um, today we're discussing the story that we found, you know, um, by that was said by Nollywood actress Yabodi, where she said she was raped five times. And she recalls the sexual violence, you know, by a report on, on Sahara reporters that we found on Twitter. Let me come to you, Jennifer. What did you find for us in the news? Um, in Punch News today, um, drama as Jam parades staff over alleged admissions scam. So um, the Jam office paraded two of its workers on Monday for allegedly extorting money from unified tertiary um, candidates with a promise to help them secure admission. Now, the person who was, um, who was apprehended um, confessed that he collected um, about 500,000 naira from four students, from mm. four candidates, and um, each or each, collectively, so that's each. about two million naira. Yeah. From four candidates, and I think he had a partner who he paid one hundred and eighty thousand naira to. So um, how the how Jam Office found out was one of the students reported to his or her parents, and then they came to the office to complain about what was going on, and they had to bring it up, and then that was. The but these things have been like it's it's been age old. I'm actually surprised. I'm it's actually an old story. <laughs> I'm actually surprised it's coming out now and it's actually in the news because since I was in secondary school or primary sorting. school, I've been hearing it's called about it's called sorting. And sometimes, and, uh, all of yeah, this. and sometimes parents <laughs> even go to like do the payment, not even, uh, yes, not even the students, like make yes. sure my child makes the merit list, take two hundred thousand there. It's just <laughs> so five hundred k. Five hundred k. That's two million for four people. <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Jam. Please do more of that. Yeah, really? Yeah, they should do more of like finding these people. Oh, okay. You know, if yeah, you're yeah, going to get admission, get admission of merit. <laughs> Don't get it because my father can afford one million naira, and then I'm back home. I have just my school fees of fifty thousand naira, but then you take my slot and give it to somebody, somebody else who else. has the money. It's not fair, you know. Okay. Well, what did you find first? Okay, <laughs> so um, <laughs> the U.S. Uh, missions has this is probably good news for a lot of Nigerians who are looking to migrate because um, the current president uh, Biden has reversed the um, the travel restrictions or migration restrictions placed on Nigeria and other uh, countries. So according to the U.S. mission, they're prioritizing immigrant visa applicants in Nigeria affected by Trump's uh, travel ban. Um, that's of that's as of as of January 20, 2021. That was when President Biden um, changed that um, that proclamation, and they also went ahead to deny the fact that it was reported that they said that Nigerians denied visa on or after January twenty twenty can reapply for free. It's not for free. You will pay. But they're going to prioritize them, but you will pay. And this does not in any way affect people who are opting for tourist visa, business, or student. That one, you, if they deny you, you go and apply again and wait in line. <laughs> no, but but if you've paid ahead, your fees are still uh, relevant, are valid till September, I think September 30, 2022, because it's taking them time to sort things out. Well, I hear that um, my sister sent me a message there because my, when my visa um, expired, yeah. I actually paid the renewal fee, but it was long before the drop, drop box. Okay. So it had passed that time. So by the time I got to the embassy, they were just picking one grammar. I forgot one bank deposit slip. I got upset and I just went home. So only for my sister to send me a message that um, if you if your visa, um, you've had a, um, um, four years, 
mm. you know, prior to, to this today, if your visa had expired yeah. for, you know, so you still have that window as opposed to years to do a Dropbox. So, which is good for me. So I said, oh, yeah, so now, I let's go do a Dropbox, Yes, right? now. So I oh, said, let's go and apply. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about the stress-free life. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So my story is just, I'm just going to mention it because I really don't know what it means. I'm, I was hoping um, our finance people would tell us, but I think it's breaking news and I have okay. to say it. So they said CBN introduces new charges for the U.S. dollars um, services. So according to the report, they, uh, there's a flat fee of about, I'm trying to pull it out, about six naira something kobo. That's a flat fee for all transactions par that is done in U.S. dollars. Yeah. Mm. They said the Apex Bank said effective Tuesday, that's today, customers will pay a flat fee of six naira 98 um, per transaction every time they use U.S. dollar services. So I don't know what the services are, um, but some are saying that they are applauding the communication. And I think there's a debt. Um, it said that the new charges was part of the agreement reached when banks and telecommunication operators met on Monday to discuss the 42 billion naira debt owed mobile operators by banks. So I don't know what this means. I will go and read more. <laughs> but well, since oh, it's breaking news, let us mention it. Six naira per transaction. I think that's fair. Well, it's a Come to think thing. of it, we get we get charged fifty naira there. Well, about I don't know what this transaction naira. is about, so which is good. <laughs> whatever naira, it is, it bad. seems like good news. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> <laughs> Until we ask our finance people, we'll know. All right, so we'll just take a very short break. When we return, we'll be talking about um, rape and the blame game. Stay with us. We'll be right back.